What's up guys? Uh, obviously here in Georgia, um, we have a lot of properties that have acreage with them. And a lot of times with that acreage, you will find remnants of old fences. Uh, a lot of times these fences were put up by farmers and they were just metal T-post. A lot of times they're rusty and a lot of rusty old barbed wire. So I'm gonna show you guys a few ways to safely remove that, uh, possibly repurpose some of it, but even if you're gonna throw it away, it's much easier to uh, gather it this way to get rid of it. A couple little tips I've learned over the years. If you get a chance to cut, if it's in a pastured area, go ahead and cut the grass first so you're able to make sure that you got a, a, an easy clean workspace to work with. You can kind of see halfway through the process right here, a lot of the wire was rolled up. When you start removing the barbed wire, uh, easiest way to do so is uh, take some uh, large bolt cutters. Uh, I like to call them a master key sometimes. Obviously you can <laughs> open any, any lock with those, but uh, these little metal clips that uh, hold the barbed wire to the T-post, um, a lot of times they're just, they're rusty and they've been twisted around there and they'd be a little bit dangerous kind of getting them on and off. I found the easiest way to deal with it is just to grab the bolt cutters and just snip the actual um, little clip there and you can leave it still mostly attached. Sometimes it does fall off. Um, uh, they're usually really close to where the um, the posts are when if they fall. So. This is also where it helps to have the barbed wire, or not the barbed wire, the uh, weed eating done ahead of time so you can kind of see what you're dealing with. You can see I got one side of the fence done, but not the other. Uh, when you go through and clip all these, a lot of times it's, it's good to go through and just get a certain section of it. And you can do it in a, in, in a row like this, going all the way up the post, or you can just do one strand at a time walking down all of it, whatever's easiest for you. And uh, they'll typically just kind of fall down on top of each other like that, and you've got them clipped loose. Uh, barbed wire can be very dangerous. Definitely recommend wearing some, some heavy gloves uh, and having the proper tools. Uh, a pair of pliers uh, is really helpful, uh, but I'm gonna show you right here, went ahead and just removed from this one post. This is a T-post puller. Um, I bought this at Tractor Supply. A lot of farm places will sell these, but these T-post puller um, operates just like a jack and it will pull the T-post literally straight up out of the ground. It will not bend it. And this post, even though it is rusty, can be reused again. So maybe you don't have a purpose for it now, but maybe you'd like to put up a fence area for livestock, chickens, whatever it is to kind of contain them. You can reuse these later. If you see I'm taking the barbed wire right now to dispose of it or whatever you want, if you want to reuse it as a fence, you could obviously do that. Leaving it in the longer sections possible is, is, is uh, what I would advise. But if you take your time, kind of notice how I'm pulling back on this, holding some tension, and I'm just basically rolling it into a circle. Uh, the barbs, uh, if you have good heavy gloves, they won't stick through them very easily. You see it's easy for it to kind of come apart like that and it can kind of, you know, scratch your arms or whatever. So not the easiest job in the world. Definitely be careful, Rec recommend wearing sunglasses or safety glasses because it's easy to, um, you know, have stuff kind of come at you like that, not meaning to. But if you take this barbed wire and you roll it up like this, like I said, in the very least, it's easy to dispose of. Um, it makes it, um, like I said, so much easier. First time I, I got rid of an old fence on our property, I just kind of piled it all up with the posts all connected to it. I didn't have a T-post puller. I tried to just pull them out of the ground uh, by wiggling it back and forth. I ended up bending the post. It was a big tangled mess and it was hard to deal with and not very safe. So you take your time, you can uh, either re reuse, repurpose this stuff or at least uh, you know recycle it in, in a much better way. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, and subscribe to Random to Real Estate and we look forward to helping you out not only with your real estate needs but also with some random fun things like this that maybe you'll find useful. Thanks a lot.